and I've been watching a lot of those videos like I go to the worst reviewed um, makeup artist and then I go to the best reviewed makeup artist videos on YouTube so I'm actually gonna go to Sephora and get maybe like a brochure on the makeovers they offer I'm actually kind of curious about that so yeah I'm just gonna go in and I'm like right here so I'm just I'm almost here okay I'm walking in now so like I said I just got like a little card because I was told like um that they do like um like it's only fifty dollars and you get to bring home like well a minimum of fifty dollars of the products and then you get to bring home like everything that you use so like that's even better like why honestly like if I don't even have to like do makeup for um any event like if I just want to buy a full face of makeup I might just get my makeup done and then bring home the products like that and leave a nice tip you know like honestly like I've never gotten my makeup professionally done like I've only had like oh sure like so one of my friends will do my makeup or something, but that's never really happened. No one's really done my makeup in a super long time. Not since, like, the old days, you know, going to sleepovers with friends and stuff. But, yeah, I was told that, like, for, um, like, well, the $50 is, like, their, like, cheapest one. And then it's $90 for a glam over, I think it's called. And you get, like a, like, a consultation and they, like, tell you how to apply stuff as well. So that's, like, even better, honestly. But I might just do the $50 makeup one day, so that's, that's even better, so, yeah, I don't know, I'm walking down now, far from Sephora, but I think I'm gonna go to, I doubt I'm gonna find anything in Grudge, because they always have the same stuff, so, I'm gonna go in there, and then I'm actually, or no, I'm gonna go to the body shop first, that's the first thing I'm gonna go to, so I'm right here, just gonna walk in, I'm almost there, I don't know, I think this time I'm gonna get lotions, or I might get hypnotized by perfumes again and just get that. When I was in there I just got educated on body butters and body yogurts and how like the um the yogurts are more like they soak in your skin better and the body butter like stays on for longer and I was more into the yogurt. I was more feeling the yogurt. So that's what I went with and I'm going to garage now and hopefully I'll see something new and I don't so far. The last store that I went into was Bath and Body Works, and they had this new scent called Kaleidoscope. But I was reading the pan and the sign, and it said like uh, something to do with like iris or like rose water, but definitely iris. I don't really remember. I might have been reading something else. It did say something about iris and uh, ew. Oh god, there was a big ball of like shaved hair on the floor in front of me. It's because it's right outside of the barber shop, so maybe someone's shaved hair didn't clean out enough. But, yeah, thanks. Um, the kaleidoscope scent, thank you. It smelled like lovely and apparently it's got like some kind of special thing in it, she said, that it smells like different on everyone's skin and it has like properties to make it do that. So I was like, Ooh, amazing. So I went ahead and bought the perfume. I didn't buy the body wash, but if you guys remember last time I bought, um, was it the Japanese cherry blossom perfume so then from there I got a uh, today I got like the the body wash for it and then I got something else to go with the um, at the beach collection there so oh, I was able to like finish everything off I really hope it's not for like this small because I'd hate if this one was on fire okay okay no they're leaving they're not going through that intersection But I also went to Ardeans and got like tons of stuff, so I can't wait for you guys to see that. No, don't tap the screen. No, don't don't touch that button. That takes a screenshot. Don't touch that button. No, that increases the saturation. Don't touch that. The saturation. I don't understand. Oh my god, don't don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Well, I'm in Sochelli right now, and I'm really happy because I was getting food from here. Ow! Ow! We're getting takeout, but... Filming the floor. Well, because I don't want to film my face. Mm. Uh. Stop filming. Stop. I'm allowed to. I have rights. Ow! Ow! That really hurt my leg. Here I am again with, um... Kind of a larger haul this time. Last one was pretty short, but um, 
So here, or no, not here. <laughs> um, I don't know which bag I want to start with. I'm going to start with the Bath and Body Works bag because I found out, like I said before in the video, I think there was a new scent. One was called Kaleidoscope, and apparently it smells different on everybody. So it smells amazing, really earthy. Yeah, it smells, it almost smells like cleaning supplies, but it smells like real, like how cleaning supplies try to imitate the smell of like earthy stuff or pine, but it smells like more real. Like it smells like that, but it smells like real, you know what I mean? So obviously I, I love that so much. And then I got the matching lotion to go with the at the beach scents that I got one time while shopping when I got the body wash and the mist, like the what I would prefer, like if I only had money to get like two things, I wouldn't get the lotion, I would just get like the the wash and uh, the mist. Even though they're often buy two get one free, but yeah. And then here I have the Japanese Cherry Blossom body wash, cause last time, or one time, the same time that I got the Add the Beach Scents, I just got the mist. So then from the body shop, I got um, almond milk body yogurt for sensitive skin. And like I said, I prefer this over the body butter so that it soaks in, so that I'm not like wet and like glossy or like sticky for too long, I guess. So that I can just get like pajamas on right after showering or regular clothes because I shower in the morning sometimes. So here I have a Kendall and Kylie skirt. Oh no, these are shorts actually. So they look like this and I thought they were like really, really cute. And I know that I'm gonna find a way to wear them. They look like something I would wear on vacation, but I wanna find a way to wear them now. And then I know that I got those palm shorts and I know that this doesn't exactly match that, but I just kind of decided it would be fun to get like a shirt with like green palm on it. So I don't know, I got it. And hopefully it lives up to expectations. So this is the shirt and unfortunately it's gonna slide up because it has like a stretchy band here and I know I'm gonna move around and it's just gonna really piss me off throughout the day. It just keeps doing this and I tried it on with this size and a smaller size and I was like wow like comparing this to the smaller size it was a lot um, better because the smaller size is the same thing but it was already like this and then it would slide up from there but I don't know I guess this is sort of better but yeah it's not really my cup of tea yeah so next i've got another shirt and i thought that it would kind of go well with this kind of maybe this is more colorful and this is lighter so maybe not because the base is like black and then this base is kind of like gray or like pastel so it just looks like this and it's like a button up it's kind of like a blouse i guess yeah, i had a little bit of trouble getting it on but then I was, I thought that it was kind of like fine when I had it on. I had it in, I got it in the smallest size they had for it, so. I don't know, kind of my own fault, but I couldn't find it in a, a, a small, so I had to get an extra. Okay, so this is the shirt, and I actually really like it, and I'm glad that I got it in a smaller size. When I first put it on, one of the buttons was undone, because when I tried it on, getting it off was really tough, and I had to undo a few buttons, so one of them is down right now. Yep, just one, but two were down in order for me to get it off better. But honestly, like, I'm so glad. And it doesn't have the issue of, oh, my bra is gonna show like a cross, like just a stripe across like that. So, and it doesn't even show bra straps. Like bra straps aren't really a big deal because I don't know we wear bras, but like it's even better that it's not gonna show them, of course, and not underarm. And it doesn't have that tight underarm feeling. So honestly, this shirt was just like a total plus. So then I got this shirt, this says Bonita on it, which is in Spanish, by the way. And it's kind of like a crop top. It's kind of basic, but I don't know. I thought it was cute, so I just bought it. Okay, so this is the shirt. So like I said before, it just says Bonita in Spanish, which just means pretty. And um, I don't know, it looks kind of weird with my hair pushed back, I think. So if I kind of put it forward a little bit and kind of push it away like that, just kind of so it doesn't cover the word, it looks nice. And I'm wearing the small size, or which one am I wearing? I have to look. Yeah, I'm wearing the small size they offer because I don't know why, maybe they were marked wrong, but I got the regular small, not the extra small, and it was really, really tight in the armholes and like really uncomfortable and tight here too. And it is a little bit tight on the extra small, but it was way tighter on the regular small, and I don't really know why, but obviously it's a little shorter on the extra small and it was a tiny bit longer, just a tad bit longer on the regular small, but the armholes and like the neckline, like the top of it all like that were really tight it was like worse than the extra small so i don't really know i just went with the regular small so then i just got a basic um long sleeve t-shirt in black i don't know i wanted it 
I didn't, the extra small was like really form fitting, like too form fitting, like this is stretchy, but it was really tight on my body and my skin. And uh, again, it did that thing where it's really tight on a, like, a, like the, the, uh, the grips, like on the, what holds your, like the edges on that, like not that, it's like how this is the neckline, but then it's like the neckline for like the, the wrist. It was really tight in the edge and the end of the sleeves here and uh, in the armholes, so, and it was a bit see-through because it was tighter on my skin, so then I just went with uh, the regular small. I don't really need to try it on because it's, it's a basic shirt. A lot of people wear plain black t-shirts like this. So obviously thank you guys so much for watching and um, obviously like, subscribe, and click the bell so you guys don't miss videos. And obviously please comment what you guys want to see next if you want to see this kind of haul or that kind of haul or like, obviously you'll see winter hauls and fall hauls in the future. Unfortunately, summer's ending. We all, I just really don't want summer to end. Not like as in um, maybe uh, the season or maybe not as in uh, like this, um, like the, the school break, but like the season. I don't want the season to end. I don't really care too much about being away from school. I just don't want the summer season to end. So obviously thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, click the bell so you don't miss videos and play the music. Thank you.